Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Green Zero here with another Command Conquer 3 Kane's Wrath video commentary. That's right, we're back for the Kane's Wrath action. We have another game here today and you can see the map. It is Savannah. Hell yeah. New maps here for Savannah. Again, uh, we just saw Hydraulic and Death Sentence play on this map and it was pretty awesome. So I've got another one here. Uh, anyway, head on over to my YouTube channel. You can get the latest version of the patch 1.02 plus with the ranked maps in there. Of course, all the new maps. Again, you won't be able to find it on GameReplays.org. They have actually uh, put, a, put the link back on, but it's an old link, so it's actually outdated. It doesn't have the updated version. Again, despite the video I made last time, uh, they still want to try to dictate what's going on with the patch there. Um, Game Replays has erupted into turmoil. Everyone is sledging the admins, and you think they would actually you know, cave and, and do what the community wants, but no, they're still, uh, still uh, resisting against that and trying to, trying to say what's what. But anyway, that probably won't last too much longer because they have no support, and... Obviously, they don't have the patch anymore at all. Their, their version is old, so head on, to my, head on over to my YouTube channel and download that one. But again, we're back to the Kane's Wrath action, and we're going to jump into this game here. So we want to see what's going on, and if we jump over to the right-hand side, we have Hydraulic. That's right, Drow, Drolic. It's Hydraulic playing as Nod Vanilla. So on Savannah, we saw him play on this game before, so he was on the other side of the map. And I believe he was playing as... Socom? I think so. Anyway, he's... <laughs> He's got this uh, militant squad here that's moving across the, the other side of that. And if we jump over here, we have Johnny Calcina. Moo, yeah. It's Calcina from Brazil. And he's going to be going down to get his uh, his spike over here. And uh, no doubt up on the other side where the safe spike is. Oh, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. Johnny Calcina. And that's what you get for not playing the new maps. You get this, you lose your spike. Okay, you don't even know the map layout. Come on, Johnny Calcina. You need to get in there, buddy. But anyway, let's see what's going to happen here. Both sides, I think, are going for straight for a war factory here, obviously. Uh, that's that's usually what Nod tends to do at this time of the game. Build a war factory, because that's where all their best vehicles come out of. Or their only vehicles come out of, to be honest. But uh, let's see what happens after the war factories are dropped. Are we going to see any kind of rush? Uh, Johnny Colsina is building something pretty quickly there, so there could be some bites coming out. But his next structure is quite slow, so it's probably just going to be a refinery. And we have a buggy coming out just for the scouts. And yeah, that looks like a harvester for sure. So Hydraulic is also doing the same thing. That's building... No, that's going to be a ref. So he's he's trying to get out the scouts as well. So both sides playing it safe here. Again, random mirror. They don't know their nods. So they, they're just like, hey, I'm not going to decide to rush until I know what faction I'm up, I'm up against. Which is smart. I mean, you can still decide to rush without scouting. But it's always a good idea to find out what faction you're up against. To know, hey, is the, is the rush that I'm doing, is it particularly good? against this faction here. Looks like uh, Hydraulic's gonna lose those scouts there, not paying too much attention. They do go down. Hydraulic did secure both the spikes, the top one and the lower one here. Johnny Cassini gonna be driving through. I wonder if he's realized that there is a spike there. I was watching Bike Rush stream on Badlands the other day and he didn't know about the second spike as well and he went for one engineer the whole game. He didn't seem to realize there was a spike up there for him. So again, even Bike Rush doesn't know the layout of the new maps here. So get playing the new maps more new maps. Again, you're going to get priorities for videos. Johnny Calcina does go for the move of the MCV, so he didn't try to crawl with like a, an operations center or something like that. Again, if you go fast operations center, you really got to you know, push some kind of attack because uh, obviously you know, putting that money into the tech. Uh, again, you could get it for fast dozer blades, but uh, you normally see mass scorp spam from it in black hand mirrors. It tends to go down like that. But Johnny's going for attack bikes. And uh, Hydraulic, it looks like, I don't think he has any bikes out, but he's building Scorp tanks now. Obviously, you can see the attack bikes, so he's like, oh, far out. There you go, there's a fast operation center, and he's got Dozer Blades about 40% done already, so he's got, he's just going to completely miss bikes, go straight for Scorpion tanks. Again, getting them out this early is pretty good, but Johnny, he's got an attacking force here he can harass, so Hydraulic's going to be on the back foot. Uh, Johnny's definitely going to have map control for a significant amount of the, the, the early game here, but um, we'll see how that goes. It's going to be hard to get a harvester here. He does have a shredder tower, probably to draw a fire when those bikes roll in, which uh, at the moment just cleaning the field up. Again, he's just he's taking out all the scouts here using the buggy to uh, to block the vision of hydraulic, which is pretty good. That's going to allow him to move freely back and forth along the map when he decides to go in and, and then hit somewhere else. So uh, hydraulic pulls a few tanks over here. Dozer blades is done. It just actually finishes up there right as his bikes roll in, but he's like, hey, nope, not going in there. He's going to pull it back, pull back. And he's going to go up to the main base. There's a few Scorp tanks here. He might know he's not going to be able to pick that off. It's just undocking. And, oh, Johnny Garcia, you got to be careful, buddy. You're going to go in there. Oh, jeez. Takes a swing, gets out. He's like, I don't think so. So Hydraulic's going to be able to... He's going to be okay. They didn't take any damage. He did pull this Harvester off the line, which is not moving anymore. So hopefully he, he actually gets that one back to refining. He's obviously given it a move order accidentally. 
We'll see how that goes. Again, Johnny Cassino, I guess that's slightly paying off that he's forced him to do that. Again, you should always pull harvesters that you move like that on a control group. That way, after the harassment's over, you can always remember just to hit the control group, and then you can either slam the return to return to harvest button or return to refinery button, whether or just return to the refinery and then continue on harvesting, or you can uh, automatically get them to attack uh, the, uh, the Tiberian field again. But, oh yeah, he's already fixed it. So that wasn't too bad, but uh, we can see Dozer Blades is on the way from Johnny Cassina, and fast laser capacitors. This is some seriously fast laser capacitors, and what is Johnny gonna do about that? He's actually moving his MCV as well. Not sure what he's got planned here, but these bikes, they're not out and about, they're getting some repairs. There's a few Scorp tanks, pretty much just hydraulic, just moving forward, say, hey, look, I've got Scorp tanks, you gotta be worried about these guys here. But uh, uh, looks like no, neither side has actually traded any units yet. They're just shooting at each other again. Hydraulic's gonna be a little bit of a disadvantage here, because obviously he's gonna get, uh, well, she just managed to take out a bike, but he's got no repairs. Johnny Calcina just getting repairs straight away, keeping them at full health. We got some units over here getting shot up by scouts. But again, oh no, he moves his MCV down here, so maybe just to spread the refs out a bit to avoid one clicks. Dozer Blaze is done for Johnny. Laser capacity is almost done and he's moving forward now, but there's gonna be an engagement. Oh man, I think Johnny has to, he can see this. I'm not sure why he's going in. Oh, I would have waited for laser capacitors to finish it so close. He's actually gonna move in. This battle's gonna start by the time it ends. He's gonna have laser capacitors, but he took a fair bit of damage. He could have wasted a, 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 quite a few of those tanks there. Now laser capacitors is done. Not even gonna get a shot, maybe. <laughs> Look at that. That's perfect timing for hydraulic because now he sees them. And there you go, he's gonna lose those heavily damaged tanks at the front. They're gonna go down. But uh, Johnny Calzina is still moving forward. Looks like he might be on a formation move, which was causing him to move slower than the other tanks because uh, this tank here is on his heavy damage mode, but fully upgraded Scorpion tanks. And Hydraulic's like, oh, hang on a second. I mean, he has numerical superiority, but Johnny has technological superiority. Uh, superiority. <laughs> but no, he does not have enough. Hydraulic's going to move forward. And of course, too many guns is going to cause a lot of damage to these tanks here. Again, Johnny did cause a lot of damage there. We've got a battle marker up here. Bikes rolling through, not really going to get anything. They're pretty much just gonna go down. They're rolling down here to the expansion. Does he have a Tib Chem plant? Yes, he does. He's calling in C Tiberium. And let's see what he does here. I think he's gonna hit hydraulic with some one clicks. Oh, those refs are too close to each other. That's pretty devastating. Loses all his refining here. Do uh, oh, he's actually got his own laser pass. It's just about done. So that's gonna draw a little bit even. Again, he probably has a few more tanks than Johnny does. Yeah, he definitely has some more tanks than what Johnny does. If Johnny pulls all of his forces together, he's gonna be fine but uh, Hydraulic just finishes the laser capacitor upgrade and that's why they call it the Scorpion tank because it's got that laser on its uh, on the back like the Scorpion does. And here we go, there's gonna be an engagement here. Small size force on either side, or average size force I guess, but it's gonna be focusing down here. And Johnny Calcina, not doing too well here. Hydraulic's just got quite a few too many tanks here and there's gonna be some serious laser fighting here. We haven't seen a laser fight like this for some time because Nod Factions, oh we don't actually see that many Nod Mirrors I guess do we? We normally see Black Hand Mirrors or or Nod versus something else, but Nod Mirrors, I haven't come across too many of those lately. And you see there, Johnny has um, some pretty pretty heavy damage on some of those tanks. Might want to go back. Got them in the formation move here, just to uh, keep things nice and safe, of course. It's all about positioning in these situations. You want to have the best positioning here. And Johnny Calcina, with the support of this War Factory, uh, there's, there's a lot of tanks here. I mean, Hydraulic could roll in and probably destroy some of these tanks, but he's not paying too much attention. Just got a general attack move. Johnny's able to pull back and not lose any tanks there. Getting some much needed repairs on that tank, of course. And again, having the war factory just there means reinforcements are straight away. And of course, the repairs on those guys make them take that many more shots to kill. Uh, Johnny Cassina not pulling these guys back for repairs. Again, they've been sitting there for a while, so you thought he would have done so. Keeping the Tib Chem plant around. Okay, let's see what he's going to do with that. He's already used some of his one clicks, or one of his one clicks at least. He used the C Tiberium, which isn't really a one click. It's just uh, some free Tib if you can actually refine it. But uh, anyway, we have the laser field coming down on the, uh, the conyard there. We've got some battle markers up here, and oh, Johnny's rolling in here, but Hydraulic is focusing. And of course, in this situation, focusing is going to be superior. Johnny decides he's going to pull back there, but he lost out on that battle big time. I don't think Hydraulic lost really any tanks, maybe one or two. Anyway, we've got Johnny moving across in a formation move, but all his tanks are all split up, and oh man, Hydraulic's coming in from one side, and he's just picking off these tanks, and hardly any of Johnny's are actually returning any kind of fire. Most of them are all spread out, and there's a big line here. Johnny's getting massacred. He's getting massacred. Oh man, he's losing so many tanks here, and he's pulling back into the tip field. We have a battle up here, but Johnny should be okay against that one. But oh man, he lost so many of his tanks there. Hydraulic got some pretty crazy positioning there. And he's going to back these guys into a corner. Should be able to finish them off. We've got a Tib Vein. Oh, there's so many Scorp tanks over this Tib Vein. That's pretty crazy. Oh, look at all the Scorp tanks that go down. That's, oh man, so much destruction and debris there. And Johnny Calcina just draws the whole, whole game even with that one mouse click there. Meanwhile, these guys are moving around here again. That's why we don't like to see those too much because he's turned the tide of battle with one mouse click without any position, uh, even though he got out positioned, out maneuvered. 
Anyway, let's leave it at that to see how this one goes. All power goes down, which is going to cause the Obelis in the middle of the field to go down as well. Johnny Cassina is scrambling a little bit. He has some tanks here. He should be able to clean these guys up now. And they're too heavily damaged to really cause that much more pain to any, any of the harvesters. Or he's not going to get any of these guys here. Meanwhile, these Obelis actually getting focused down by, uh, by Hydrolic. He's got more tanks in the middle. And he's actually been taking all that blue tip. And he's got double rep on the middle as well. Oh, man, Johnny in serious trouble. He's targeting their Econia. Don't think that's a good idea. Look at it. It's just got way too much armor there. Places the Obelis in a defensive position. Maybe could have placed it four because his tanks have actually just rocked up now. It's actually not going to be able to fire from back there. Again, I'd be expecting to place Obelis maybe here so you can place a power plant or a finer or a power plant or a barracks in front of them. But uh, nonetheless, I'm not sure he's shielding out his own units now. Scorp tanks cannot shoot over buildings, so mass beams coming up here. Obelisk coming up as well. All we need now is some venoms and some beam cannons. And uh, we'll be set on the mass laser wars here from these Nod guys. Oh man, causing so much pain. Johnny's going to lose a ref here. Falling back to the other side of the tip field, which is a good idea. These tanks need to get up here with the Obelisk, otherwise it's going to get focused down. It's probably only going to get one shot off. Yeah, kills one tank. I don't think it's worth its $2,000 value. It's only going to get one Scorpion tank. But yeah, he's got more Scorp tanks here. Again, over the tip field. It's pretty dangerous, but the tip cam plant or the tip vein has already been used from Johnny, and it's got a long recharge time. We've got a beacon coming in, though. Oh, man, this could be a vapor bomb. I think Hydraulic might... It's pretty hard to see a green beacon in the green tip field, but he is going to move out the way, and that's nice there. Uh, does level all his base defenses, put some serious pain on there, but the, the Vapor Bomb more or less missed this army here. It's going to be lasers versus lasers again. Obelisk coming up from Johnny Cassina has a little bit better positioning here, but oh man, he's taking some serious pain there. All the front ends getting absolutely slammed there. Their health just not where it needs to be. And again, a very frontal engage, a very front on engagement here by both sides. Hydraulic trying to split it up by putting tanks elsewhere, as we saw later, uh, earlier on in the game, but uh, mainly it's just come down to front. Uh, frontal assault here from both sides. Manages to level that War Factory because he was on, I think, Quad War Factory. No, he's only on. Uh, he was only on Triple War Factory, but now he's down to. Uh, he was only. Yeah, he was on. No, yeah, he was on Triple War Factory. Now he's down to Double War Factory, but he had Quad War Factory. Wow, that's confusing. But Johnny losing more tanks here. He needs to get back to this Obelisk defense. Look at that triangular Obelisk defense here. Beam cannons in the middle. No worries. Turn these guys into artillery units, and Johnny would be set. That would be pretty cool, but you know what? I don't think it has an operation center. Oh, Tip Vane, Tip Vane, that's going to hurt. Oh, no, and this harvest is probably as good as dead. He's going to be able to get all the... Oh, he actually used a catalyst as well. I don't even think that was necessary, man. Oh, a catalyst over there as well. Oh, these guys clicking the crap out of each other now, I guess, because they can both do it. I guess that makes it kind of okay, but I don't even think he needed the catalyst. The refinery was about a second away from blowing up, and he, he used the $2,000 uh, missile there. But... Uh, Nonetheless, and we got a beacon here. I think he's got a tip vapor bomb coming in. But uh, yeah, one clicks all around. These guys, mutual destruction. He's only going to get an obelisk, though. That probably wasn't worth a $3,500 price tag. Uh, Hydraulic probably getting a little bit ahead of himself now. Still hasn't placed a ref down here, so he's in all sorts of trouble. Has got one on the blue tip field, and he's leeching from the green. I'm pretty sure that's all green tip, not blue tip, because it's already been used up. Uh, the main Tiberian field has pretty much been wasted. It's pretty much been destroyed. I'm not sure where that harvest is going. He's reverse moving into obelisk here. And, oh, that's going to hurt if he stays there. Units getting destroyed by Obelisk wandering through. But Johnny Cassina is leveling the base here from Hydraulic. He's probably just going to start selling this up here now. He really can't do much else with it. Uh, these harvesters might want to get out of there. Again, being not vanilla, they have stealth harvesters. So you can see Hydraulic's actually leeching as well. So uh, Hydraulic's got a lot of harvesters selling up now, but uh, he can leech all over the place. Johnny Cassina, meanwhile, all of his harvesters are clustered down here. Now, he's got a lot of them as well. He could definitely send those out and... Uh, and and get to the middle tip field or, or the far tip field or somewhere where there's Tiberium, but they're just not doing anything on that bottom field now. And uh, I'm not sure what Johnny Cassini is going to do. He's got another base defense queued. Let's see what that's going to be. But really, both sides running out of units here. Hydraulic just formulating his defenses over there. More obelisks coming down. Hydraulic just taking them under the under the stealth mask there of these harvesters. Tank's coming in now. Hydraulic's in a little bit of trouble. Oh, he's getting focused down pretty bad. He's getting focused down pretty bad. Yeah, might want to pull back towards those war factories there. Again, he has no tech center. And Johnny Cassina might actually be able to take out the last ref for Hydro uh, Hydraulic. If that goes down, he's in serious trouble because he needs that to get the money. And of course, the scoring tanks, they should have engaged while he was shooting at the, uh, the refinery because then he wouldn't have been taking any fire in return. But now he's lost the refinery. He's not killed another one. I don't think he realizes that was his last refinery. And he has double spike, but uh, that's going to take a while to get up the uh, three grand he needs for a, a refinery. Some of the harvesters just chilling here, getting free repairs from the war factory. I think Johnny Calcina doesn't quite have enough to overwhelm this position. And yeah, these last tanks are going to go down. Uh, Johnny Calcina is selling up a fair bit over here because there's a, a handful of tanks rolling in, cutting the power as well. And uh, these uh, these Scorp tanks just going to pull back here. That Obelisk, no, not quite ranging that guy there. Uh, sells off one of his war factories. Let's hope let's hope that Hydraulic does have enough for a refinery. No, he does not. He's not going to have enough. He's going to fall short. He's building Scorp tanks. He needs to cancel those Scorp tanks. 
um, because he, he needs to <laughs> build a refinery. He's got harvesters all full of Tib. They're all full, like uh, except for that one there. And no doubt he's probably got harvesters elsewhere that are just sitting around. Yeah, he's got har full harvesters all over the map. He's got about at least 10, maybe 11, 12 of them. And uh, he is starting to build. Yeah, he's, he's cancelled that Scorpion tank, so that's good. Uh, Johnny Garcina selling off here, but Johnny Garcina doesn't have... He's got one ref. And oh man, look at this. He's actually coming in with these Scorp tanks here, and he's putting some pain on Johnny Garcina. He might actually be in trouble. He just doesn't have any units left. I thought he had a few more than this, but there's five Scorp tanks down here. Hydraulic might be able to drop that damage one. No, not quite loses those tanks down there and uh, loses the war factory and can he overpower this obelisk? I think he's going to try to go for it. Yeah, he's going to be able to get it. He's going to pay for it with a few more tanks. Can he get one more kill before he goes down? Yes, he gets one more kill. Johnny's going to be enjoying that quite a lot. And we have all the stealth being revealed down here. Johnny trying to take the Tiberium, but that that obelisk is so close to the, the Tib that he's actually revealing it. That harvester gets a little bit too close. Uh, obelisk now just picking off harvesters. And Johnny can see it does not have a refinery. Yes, he does. He has one here. Where's the MCV? Did he sell it? I think he might have sold it. No, he's moved it over here. He's trying to go for the far field, which is pretty intelligent now. And Hydraulic, he's got so much harvesters lined up here, which is going to allow him to build so many Scorpion tanks. He's only got one war factory, though, and he's only got one refinery. I think he's going for a second refinery. Yeah, he's going for a second one. He's trying to build Scorp tanks at the same time, but it's going to be pretty hard to do so with just one refinery there. The harvesters now, he's actually pulling some of them around. Uh, getting ready for the second ref he's going to place. He could place it over here, I reckon, just so it's not right next to the other one. But he does have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's got about eight score tanks, so he places it right next to it. Again, Johnny Cassini, it looks like he tried to start flaming that spike, but then realized, hang on a second, I might just actually capture that spike. He's got a structure queued, I'm not sure what it was. It probably was a war factory. And again, both these sides, sides just restarting now. They're actually managed to get their refining up. And now this pump's pumping out more Scorp tanks. Again, they don't need any kind of tech because their, their Scorping tanks have their Tier 2 and Tier 3 upgrade. I mean, it's, as far as they're concerned, the, the fastest and easiest thing to do now is going to be able to pump these Scorp tanks out so fast. I mean, if anyone spends money on tech, it's, it's really going to be in vain because it's just going to take too long, cost too much, and these units here already have their max upgrades. Again, could use some beam cannons to charge these obelisks. That would allow him to destroy this one over here. And these guys are going to go in. Hydraulic's actually going to engage, picks off some of the front tanks. He's focusing down. Johnny uh, is not focusing, though. He's just got a general attack move. That's not pretty good because he's got the War Factory in support. And he's just be able to focus a few of these tanks down. And Hydraulic there gets a nice win. Very good kill death ratio there. More harvest getting picked off as the tip just grows th so thin. The obelisks are revealing the stealth and taking those guys out. And Johnny Carcina going for some infantry now. And he's going to lose. Oh, not quite. Doesn't quite lose that one there. But all oh, these two power plants, that's bad bad news for him. That is definitely bad news for him. He can't afford to lose that. And Johnny has got an infantry upgrade as well, which means he's got a shrine somewhere. And no doubt he's going to be take, he's going to be getting the second upgrade. Does burn down the top spike, but he has captured the other spike. So Johnny Carcina has three spike at the moment. Just going into this uh, infantry rocket spam again. He does have laser capacity. He could go for mass venom. I mean, that, that might work. But yeah, he's got an operation center. Maybe going for an air tower here. But let's see how that goes. And powering down the obelisk because he's got no power because he dropped everything. He dropped everything, and now that's allowed him to destroy. No, he doesn't quite destroy that obelisk there. That definitely would have been uh, some more pressure or less more pressure off this middle field because this harvest is wandering a little bit close. Stealth is revealed, and it's going to go down now. Hydraulic just defending out. It's so desperate here. Both sides expending units, trying to fight. It's getting very, very brutal here. Johnny Calcini gets annihilated there, by the way. But now he's got full infantry upgrades, and the score tank production, I think it needs to cease because Johnny Calcini has got obelisk and infantry, and he's not going to break that with what he's got. Uh, let's see what he's going to do with... Is he going for a tech center? I think he might... No, he's going for a war factory, but what's he going to build? He could mass buggies, I guess. Buggies also get vent, uh, the beams, that's right. So he could keep the Scorp tank safe and then just pump out mass buggy, but he needs to do something about the infantry because Johnny Cassini is starting to build quite a lot. Those, those Scorp tanks getting taken out that are moving through, but they are moving through here. Uh, sells off the shrine, but he's got his upgrades anyway. Probably not too fast. He could put a stealth power and surround it by power plants. That way, not allowing it to get killed. And Johnny Cassini expanding down there as well. He's going to lose a refinery here. But meanwhile, what's happening here? Beam, cannon, beam cannons coming out. Oh, man. Beam cannons. we got four beam cannons. Probably would stop at that production level there because the only use they're going to be for is for sniping buildings from afar and taking the middle field. They're not going to help them against infantry because there's just too many. They wouldn't be able to snipe them down fast enough. These Scorp tanks probably going to get taken out. They're, they're going to retreat to the top here. Let's see what he's going to do with the rest of his Scorp tanks. Is he still building beam cannons? No, he's not building beam cannons. And he's going to be able to focus that down. Oh man, four beam cannons absolutely smashed that war factory. 
and uh, this scoring tank rolls forward, but he needs to watch out. And again, four beam cannons, no worries. See you later, buildings. They do so much damage. And again, you just don't need that many beam cannons. And uh, oh, he uses a decoy army. And he's even going to focus down that one scorp tank. It's like, hey, you shooting at me, brah? There we go. Just pops him like that. Beam cannons obviously do grenade damage, so they're good against infantry, but against an infantry spam. Oh, he's, he's in a little bit of trouble here. I mean, he's got black hand. He could, uh, he's going to get hit by hallucinogenic grenades though as well. He's trying to put down lots of shredder turrets. Not sure how that's going to go for him. But meanwhile, he's just taking out all of these uh, buildings in the center here. And uh, these four beam cannons uh, wouldn't be surprised if we see some ranks on them pretty short. They've already done some serious damage here. Uh, more shredder turrets coming up, but he might have to wait till he comes in and then go for a crush. I'm surprised he hasn't tried to spam out buggies or venoms or something along those lines there. Because if he spams out venoms, he could just use the scorp tanks to crush. The venoms would either have to get shot at or the infantry would get crushed by the uh, by the tanks. This is bad news for Hydraulic though. <laughs> He's actually mining off, uh, Johnny's actually mining off both those fields here. Maybe some cloaked flame tanks? I don't know. Something tricky, but Hydraulic is losing the, his edge. He needs to... He needs to get over the other side of the map. Oh, he managed to snipe that refinery. Nice work there, these beam cannons. Do we have some ranks? No, not yet. Pretty close though, I imagine. Oh, but these infantry have moved around the top. I don't think Hydraulic noticed that they were there. Both of his refs are up there, so he, needs, he really needs to defend those. Where are the beam cannons? And they're gonna be firing at the MCV. Come on, go for the MCV. Oh, they're not focusing. Here we go, here we go. We got two veteran ones. He's gonna get the MCV now. Oh, that's gonna be massive. Johnny Cassini has no MCV. But meanwhile, these guys are getting shot at here. Maybe the shredder types will be able to wear them down. And I'm not sure why he's focusing down the uh, the uh, the uh, uh, the harvester. He needs to get the get the barracks because every production building is going to be important now. Johnny has a war factory. He can recover, but his base is clustered into the middle of the map here, or the bottom right hand so, um, side of the map. Sorry, but oh man. This is getting so desperate now. This enforce is still going. The Shredder Tire is desperately trying to wear it down. He might want to just use his Harvester to try come in and crush, but Hydraulic does not have a refinery, and he's going to try all these beam cannons. He needs to be so careful. They're going to be very important for him. If he gets them around, he might just be able to take out all the buildings uh, with them. I mean, he could just even cloak them if he wants to, but there we go. He's going to try to snipe the Scorp tanks down from afar, which is pretty smart. I mean, I guess they are just on a general attack here, but the, the infantry is still going. They're still alive, and I think maybe he's just going to go for the crush. He might as well go for the crush. This building is loaded with a few infantry units. I think he can only hold two. And there we go. Gets the crush off. He's going to be able to clean up those guys now. Nice work there. Meanwhile, the uh, beam cannons. I think one beam cannon is gone. There's only three. I'm not sure where the last one is gone, but it may have been taken out. He's still got two veteran ones, but he's in all sorts of trouble. Johnny is pushing. He's only got one ref here, but he's got a double racks and a war factory. Not all producing, though. Hydraulic's in serious trouble. He's got a refinery down. He's got a refinery down, but he needs... Oh, no, his MCV is going to go down. His MCV is going to go down. He's not even uh, rallying his forces over here now. But it's Scorp tanks and it's uh, and it's Scorp uh, and infantry here. It tries to go for the crush. The beam cannons now not even be able to focus again. They're, they're just completely overwhelmed here. They're not going to be able to do too much uh, getting in the way here now. And that refinery, as soon as it goes down, I think Hydraulic might be out of this game. He just didn't see this quick attack coming here from Johnny Calcina. Moving in with the infantry as well, just causing lots of problems. Now he's going to go for crush, but of course Johnny Calcina is going to focus down these tanks here. And I think this might be the final engagement here. Johnny Calcina, can he break him here? I don't even think it matters. I think he might have enough to just walk it through anyway. Hydraulic still seems to have money pumping out here. Johnny is on three spike, of course. And no, he's going to be overwhelmed. He's two beam cannons. He's got an elite beam cannon there. Oh man, that could have been deadly. But that was a really good move by Hydraulic to build those. Unfortunately though, at this point in the game, he just doesn't have what he needs to finish off Johnny Calcina, and Hydraulic is going to go down there. Oh man, that was a really good game by both of those players. That was a crazy nod mirror. Lots of lasers, lots of score tanks. Very desperate. Thought, we, thought it was going to end so many times there, and then they just kept fighting. Neither side making any really significant errors. A few engagements here and there were a little bit messy, but it got so brutal, you can't really blame them. 22 minutes, 20 seconds for these guys here. 213,000 to Johnny, 194,000 to Hydraulic. So we had almost $20,000, about $19,000 in favor of Johnny Calcini in a 22 minute game. You're not really gonna be feeling that too much. If we can see here, Hydraulic was actually ahead, especially in the economy race here. Again, he got all the blue tip, but then he peaked out here, not being able to get anything. Johnny steadily rose up, you can see here, look at that line, that's almost perfectly fluent there. That line there, as he just got Hydraulic's main starting field. Hydraulic didn't move his MCV. That might have been what could have won the game for Hydraulic there. He didn't move his MCV once he secured the middle field. He, he should have known that like, Johnny's taking his main fields, he should take his main fields because I, I guess he didn't feel the need to move because there was still Tiberium in the center field, but nonetheless, he, he didn't have an answer for the infantry. What he could have done maybe is just get the uh, 
He could have uh, pumped out his own militant squads with just hallucinogenic grenade upgrade and just throw them at the enemy units there. That would have just really disrupted Johnny, but uh, nonetheless, uh, Mass Buggy could have been okay, Venoms could have been okay as well. Nice work with those beam cannons to shake things up, but Hydraulic really just pushing nothing but Scorp tanks the whole game. Johnny Casina being forced into uh, getting the infantry at the end of the game, but it paid off for him. Hydraulic really had a tough time taking those guys out. That was a pretty crazy game here. See units up and down. Hydraulic obviously ahead at the start of the game because he went for more units over tech. Then he lost out pretty big in the middle field, but it was pretty even here. And of course, Johnny going for infantry at the end. A little too much for Hydraulic. Nice work sniping the MCV down from Hydraulic there. If he if he pushed his attack there, I reckon, and sniped down the, the one racks and the war factory, then he'd just have to worry about a one racks player, even if he suicided his, uh, his beam cans. But again, he can't see the whole base and he doesn't know that, so... If you guys uh, sit around and say he should have gone in, well, again, he can't see how many forces are there, he can't see how many buildings are left. It's just pretty hard to, to push a player to say you should have done that when really the intelligence that they had at that point in the game was like, hey, no, pull back, it's too dangerous. But uh, nonetheless, that was a really good game, could have gone either way, very nice fight from both these players. Uh, anyway, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Stay tuned to my channel, more Kane's Wrath videos coming up for you. Anyway, I'm Green Zero, and I'll see you all next time.